yeah, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Galaxy here, bringing you my top 10 favorite Sonic tubers of all time. Now keep in mind, obviously as you can see by the title, this is my personal list and choices. You may agree with me, you may disagree with me. I mean, it's fine. We're all Sonic fans at the end of the day. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the list. Coming in at number 10, we have Sonic Central. Best known for his high quality mod showcases on Sonic games that he would upload consistently around two years ago. From what I noticed, he recently started commentating and using his voice in videos, which made me like him a lot more. His videos are very high quality. He has a really chill personality that complements his channel. Also a very nice accent if I do say so myself. And the only reason he's not higher up on the list is because I don't watch him as much as I used to. But yeah, overall a really great channel. If you haven't seen him already, I really recommend you go check him out. And yeah, he's really dope. Coming in at number 9, we have Clement J64. Now, Clement was mostly known for his Sonic 06 review, which had 7 parts in total, and altogether ended up being 3 hours long. I used to watch him back when I was a kid, and... Even though I didn't really get his hate and like disdain for 06, I still liked a lot of his videos. Um, his skits were fun to watch. Um, yeah, he was just a really, really chill and cool dude. Even though he doesn't upload Sonic vids as much as he used to, he's still one of my personal favorites. If you haven't checked him out yet, I really recommend you do. Now for number 8 we have Matt Has No Cuts. One of the smaller channels on this list, Matt is mostly known for his discussions and commentary on the Sonic series in media surrounding news based on it. Even though his channel is very similar to a lot of Sonic tubers out there, he's still one of my favorites and he actually stands out mainly because of his love for Unleashed. He stated multiple times Unleashed is his favorite Sonic game and for that reason alone, that's enough for me to put him on the number 8 spot in my list. Not only that, but he even went on a Tales Channel podcast explaining his love for Unleashed and why he thinks Unleashed is a better game than Generations. Which, by the way, Generations is still an amazing game. But, in my opinion, and in Matt's opinion, Unleashed is superior. So, yeah, there's that. Big up you, Matt. You're a cool guy. Now we move on to the number 7 spot with Sam's Procrastination Station. Well, I guess it's Sam Procrastinates now, but he had Sam Procrastination Station for so long. It kind of grew on me, but whatever. Sam Procrastinates. I first found Sam's channel. I think the first vid I saw of him was the Sonic Forces Bubsy video. It was like a skit where he was just reacting to the trailer. And after that, his channel just slowly started to grow on me over time. I especially liked his reaction slash rant videos on the Sonic movie design. Those were hilarious and were gold. They are still gold to this day and I still love them. His reactions, he was literally speaking for the fans. I feel like I don't think there was someone on YouTube who raged and ranted about the Sonic movie design as much as Sam. And for that, I just applaud him because he was speaking for us at the time. I remember watching his vids and being right there with him, raging at how bad the design was. So he had a he had a voice for us uh, when that whole Sonic movie design thing went down. But yeah, Sam, great Sonic tuber. Definitely recommend you check out his channel if you haven't already. And yeah, number seven. Coming in at number six, we have Muggy Mikey. Or is it Mugi Mike? Oh my god, I'm finna butcher his name. Oh lord. Moogie Mikey. Is that's that's how you say it? M Moogie M M M Moogie Mikey. Moogie Mikey, okay. I was saying it right then. Hey, okay. I think the first video I watched of Mikey's was the Sonic Meets the Deadly Six animation, which coincidentally is his most popular video. And after I saw that, I know I instantly just became hooked because I remember watching his videos non-stop after that. And I mean I think I don't know, I think everyone, when we're a kid or at a really young age, animations, not just Sonic animations, but animation in general, really captures your eye and just captivates you, something about it when you're young. And even now, it captivates, you know, adults. People love animation, so, you know, what he was doing at the time and what he still is doing is very cool, um, with his comedy sketches and just, you know, dope little Sonic shorts. But yeah, I feel like Mikey kind of speaks for himself with what he does. I'm not gonna really do much explaining there. He's a dope YouTuber, a dope animator. I really think you should check him out. Coming in at number five, we have Some Call Me Johnny. Now Johnny is mostly known for his Sonic reviews and his very popular Sonic Q&A animations. Um, but to this day, in my opinion, Johnny still does have the most high quality, in-depth Sonic reviews on YouTube, in my opinion. 
The way he separates the stories from the gameplay, explains the goods and the bads of each game, and not only that, but he puts timestamps in the videos and lets you know when an important plot point is about to come up so you don't get spoiled. He does that for almost every game he reviews, so that's also a plus. Um, but yeah, Johnny is easily the best Sonic game reviewer, if not the best game reviewer on YouTube. He goes fully in depth, he does not cut any corners when it comes to his reviews, and yeah, he's really professional at what he does. And because of that, he's my number five pick. I've been watching him for years years uh now coming in at number four we have my boy the legend sonic star i don't know why i said his name like that it's sonic star he's actually the smallest youtuber on this list and the only one who i just happen to know personally well i guess it's as personally as you can know someone online but yeah he's a super nice dude so i knew i just had to put him on the list just so i can <laughs> Um, hopefully make him happy if he sees this video, which I'm gonna send it to him if he doesn't um, watch it already. His channel is very similar to a lot of Sonic tubers. He makes discussion videos, gameplay videos on the Sonic series media and leaks surrounding the Sonic series pretty much. But what separates him from the other Sonic tubers though is his What If series in which he covers different scenarios and Sonic events that might have played out differently if something did or did not happen. Um, a good example of that is What If Sonic X Continued. That's probably one of my favorite video series on his channel, Sonic Stuff. Keep that up. I love it. You do have a few Sonic tubers who do make videos like that, but very rare. I've, I very rarely run into a lot of those YouTubers on there. So for Sonic Stuff to do it, I could really see him blowing up and getting big off of doing stuff like that. It really sets him apart. But yeah, he also does skits from time to time. Those are pretty cool. But yeah, just overall, he's a really nice guy. So that's probably one of the main reasons why I had to put him on the list. Um, yeah. Also, thanks for all the shoutouts on IG, Sonic Star. I appreciate you, my boy. Peace. Now, I'm sure everyone has run into this account at some time in their childhood or maybe in their adulthood. I don't know. But Storm Red Desert is mostly known for her Sonic music videos and AMVs and that she used to make a while back. Now Storm's vids touched mine and many people's heart at a young age and she was actually the main inspiration for what got me into editing. Um, even though she doesn't upload anymore, her videos and her editing style still lives on in my heart. So I would hope that she comes back someday but honestly I don't see it happening anytime soon. I guess it's true what they say. We don't really appreciate something until it's gone. Now coming in at number two, we have my number one source for Sonic news, leaks, media in general is Premi the Remy or Premi Da Remy. That's how you say it. It's Da Remy. Give it with attitude. Now, but Premi is definitely one of the best Sonic tubers ever in my opinion. His high quality videos coupled with his enthusiastic commentary and his keep it real attitude is just so likable to me, honestly. Now, some of his videos are controversial just because of how real he keeps it. And some people make it out like he's complaining, especially when it comes to Sega and their bull crap. Especially in his recent video, he cuts no slack when it comes to Sega, and especially in regards to the drought that we've been in. He has not been holding back any punches and it's just stuff that you know i guess youtubers and sonic tubers in general don't usually want to talk about i guess because we don't want to be seen as like a toxic fan base or whatever but it's just the stuff that he says is true regardless of whether you want to admit it or not we have been in a drought for three years sega has been slacking the 3d modern games and premi is just the one who's just keeping it real and telling it how it is in a way that other Sonic tubers don't in my opinion but yeah premi is definitely one of my favorite sonic tubers of all time my second favorite behind a special someone. Kobana Mani 456. I think everyone saw this coming. Easily the most controversial person on this list. Even though Kobe was infamously known to have quit YouTube and get exposed for saying and doing a bunch of horrible things to his girlfriend, I still can't help but acknowledge everything he's done for the Sonic community and for myself. There is not a single Sonic fan who doesn't know who Corbana 9456 is or who hasn't watched one of his videos. If you were a Sonic fan or are a Sonic fan, you know who Kobe is. He was literally the reason why I started doing YouTube in the first place. And even though he fell off and isn't the same as how he used to be back then, I can still look back and appreciate the old Kobe and what he did for me as a Sonic fan. So despite everything he's done now, I still will forever be grateful for Corbana 9456 
and everything he's done for me as a Sonic fan. I can only hope that he'll come back to do a YouTube someday, or at least explain his side of the story with all the drama that's going on, but you know, it's up to him at the end of the day. He has made mistakes, very bad ones, but I'm willing to acknowledge that he's human, and I just hope he apologizes for it, because if he were to apologize and take responsibility for his actions, I think his fan base, me included, will welcome him back with open arms. But yeah, I think that'll wrap up the list, you guys. Um, let me know your top 10 favorite Sonic YouTubers down below in the comments. I would love to hear you guys' opinions, thoughts, all that good stuff. Also, I want to give a big thank you guys for helping me reach 400 subs the last few weeks. I did not expect my Kobe video to blow up as much as it did. I was just trying to share information about a comment that he left. So I was not expecting that much support from you guys. I'm really grateful. I know this is just the beginning, but I hope you guys are willing to stay for the ride. But uh, yeah, this has been your boy Galaxy. I'll see y'all later and peace.